So uh, Barney's version is a film that spans a, a long period of time and, and covers a lot of events. Um, how would you describe it to someone who's, who's not read the novel? Uh, well, I would say that, you know, I'd say it's a, got a big scope. It's like an epic character study, 30 years of this guy's life, and it covers kind of everything that would happen in 30 years of somebody's life. And it's very funny, and it's sad, and uh, it's a lovely movie. Barney's quite a flawed individual, but he's mm -hmm. always always seems to remain lovable um, to me. Um, how how was your sort of own personal reaction to Barney as a character? I liked him a lot. I mean, I recognize that he does a lot of unpleasant things, but um, part of what was nice about playing him was that I was going to get to do those unpleasant things and get to play a guy who was so extreme and difficult. Um, recognizing that he was, I still really liked him. I think that he was a lot of fun to play. Um, what was it like to um, to play the, uh, the the sort of scenes where Barney's a much older man than yourself? I mean, mm -hmm. how much of a challenge was that to be playing someone so far in the future? From well, you know, that was one of the reasons to do it too. It was one of the things I liked about it was getting to do this stretch of time and age, and you know, playing the older stuff was uh, more more fun than playing him young. The character's more fun when he's old. He's he, he doesn't care as much when he's old. He's a little bit more kind of bound up when he's younger. Um, and, you know, I get to wear all that makeup and stuff, which I really like to do because I feel like I'm wearing a mask more. You know, I felt more exposed when I was younger, so I didn't like playing that as much. The old guy was, was more fun to do. Was it physically uncomfortable to be layering on the makeup every day? Yeah, can, you know, it's not the most comfortable stuff in the world to wear, but it helps, actually, with the acting a lot, you know, because you feel this weight on your face, and it gives you that sense of sort of heaviness that this guy had to have when he was getting older. You know, he gets kind of heavier and darker as he gets older. It's not the most comfortable stuff in the world to wear, but, you know, it's it helps you a lot as an actor, and it's it's a good tool. You know. You've got um, a great cast along with you in, mm -hmm. in the movie. I mean, um, what was it like to have Dustin Hoffman as, as your screen father? Great, yeah. You know, his son is actually plays my son in the movie, so it was nice to see him with his own kid, you know? He seemed like a really good father. Um, he was He's a really fun, sweet guy to work with. So, you know, he, that, that kind of paternal relationship sort of was just there because of the kind of guy he is, so... Um, Rosamund Pike is uh, one of the sort of great uh, up-and-coming English actresses mm -hmm. now, sort of getting a lot of attention. Um, what was she like in um, on set, and did she slip in and out of her uh, English accent at all or anything like that? Uh, her accent's amazing. You would not know. I mean, most of the people that I know who don't know her that well as an actress were astounded to find out she was British. It's the best North American accent I've ever heard an English actor do. Um, no, she never slept. It never slipped. Um, that's what she's like. She's incredibly precise and really one of the best. I mean, she's just an amazing actress. And she uh, she kind of did for me what the character does for my character, which just kept me really grounded and focused. And, you know, she's very smarter than I am, much smarter than I am. And so I always relied on her in those scenes because she's just a, a fantastic actress. With um, Sideways and Cold Souls and American Splendor and now, now Barney's version, you've sort of really blown people away blown people away as a as a leading man does it still annoy you that that you're often referred to as a character actor you know in, in articles and things <clears throat> no i mean i don't necessarily know what character actor means anymore but no it's never it doesn't bother me i mean I, it's kind of how i've always thought of myself so no it doesn't really know